Here at Davidson, we have a historical celebration. We're revealing Alabama's first quantum computer, the D-Wave Advantage 2 system. It's a super exciting day for us here. Quantum has arrived in Huntsville. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. There isn't a better place to have this type of technology driving unique applications across the warfighter community. This is a unique ecosystem. And so it's fitting that the first quantum computer in the state of Alabama is here in Huntsville. Even more fitting from my perspective that it's at Davidson Technologies. When Dr. Julian Davidson was still alive and, his, and what he was trying to do with this company and where he was trying to take it and the impact that he wanted to have on the mission set and he wanted to do it in a way that you know, really proved out that complex problems can be solved with unique applications. And that's what Davidson has been doing for almost 30 years. We've been a part of this ecosystem for almost 30 years. What we are looking at is the next generation of technology and the application of it to solve very, very complex problems. This is real. We have the first quantum computer in the history of the state of Alabama in our facility, ready to go operational. It will be real, it will be used, and it will be effective in driving rapid decision processes across a very complex problem set. It is the most powerful quantum computer in the world. In fact, we were recently able to show that we can perform for the first time ever an important, useful computation on this quantum computer that cannot be performed on classical computers, full stop. Now this is what everybody in the quantum industry has been aspiring to for years. And this is the system that was first able to achieve it. And now we're really excited about the fact that with the completion of the physical installation of the system and moving on to finishing up the calibration, we are finally at the point where we can start working on important U.S. government, national defense, and security applications. Dale mentioned some of them, but things like missile defense, things like optimizing troop movements, things like fleet maintenance and repair. These are all very, very hard computational problems. This is one of the things that is, is groundbreaking, and it's groundbreaking for not only our area, but for the whole nation. Thank you, and we wish you great success in this. Uh, your success is our success. It's time for something that is unique and different. Huntsville's always been at the forefront of that. This is the beginning of how quantum gets applied to solve those problems. Yeah. <laughs>